Southern Oregon University is working to become the first campus in Oregon to produce heat and energy without adding more carbon into the atmosphere. Tonight, administrators held a public meeting announcing the Code Generation Project. NBC5's Roma Villavicencio was there. She's live in our newsroom with more. Roma? Natalie, right now the university is heated with a natural gas boiler system. The proposed method would use leftover wood from timber harvesting and people at the meeting say they think the plan sounds like a good idea, but they want to know more before they can back it up. Without the water inside these huge boilers, Southern Oregon University wouldn't be able to function. These provide our steam for uh, heating our campus and also for hot water for our campus. Drew Gilliland is the director for management and planning facilities and says two of these boilers need replacing, so they've come up with a new idea to more efficiently produce heat for SOU. Here we are in the middle of wood country, and um, we'd be using just the leftover slags from the forest We'll be using it right here in Ashland. Gilliland says they want to bring in a biomass boiler system. It costs $12 million and works by using timber harvest in the place of water and would produce what's called cogeneration, using steam for heating the campus. The new biomass boiler would replace one, two, three, four of the existing natural gas boilers, which could also then produce electricity for the entire campus. For the first time Thursday night, the public weighed in on the idea. I'm interested in sustainable local energy resources, but I want to find out if they're addressing the way that they're doing that. In general, cogeneration is uh, is definitely an improvement in technology over just combustion for electricity. There, Gilliland explained this would make SOU the first carbon neutral campus in the state, powering the school without adding or taking away from the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. That's huge. That's just, um, it's, great. it's great for the environment. It's great for Southern Oregon. Gilliland says the project would be funded with state and federal funds and could be completed by 2017. Live in the newsroom, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.